May used to be different. She was always quiet. She just, she was warm. <laughs> you should try sunglasses. Fearless in a different way. Four guys at once. Should be fun. What? No. No guns blazing tactics, Rambo. We're spies, not soldiers. We're agents. We do what has to be done. Getting in trouble, pulling pranks. I thought the mission came before the man. Did you really think I was going to leave your defenseless ass behind? Yes, yes, I 100% did. I let you sweat a little. I thought rules were meant to be broken. Your eyes on the road. But when she walked out of that building, it was like that part of it was gone. I tried to comfort her, but she wouldn't tell me what went down in there. What did you say? I tried. It's all right. I said the words I thought she needed to hear. You have to let the girl go, Melinda. You did good. Let the girl go. <laughs> Agent May. No, I'm not going back in the field. Melinda. You're really just asking me to drive the bus. I know you didn't want to see combat. I apologize for that. This was fun. Reporting for combat. Next time it's up. You're committed to the cause? I'm just watching my back. Same thing. What do you like best? The freedom? The view? The solitude. Got it. If you want, I could lay out the mats downstairs. We could go a few rounds, like the old days. This piece of paper is telling me that everything's fine. But I don't feel fine. Whether it was eight seconds or 40, you died. There's no way you can go through a trauma like that and not come out of it changed. You have got to put that away. How can I? You read it. And you haven't stopped reading it. I know you're having a hard time believing what- They changed my memories. I to say they didn't change more. I say. Wilson thinks is a chance in a million to save Sky. To save any of us, he'd take it. People like us. We need people like him. You up for this? I'm fine. Fine doesn't look like this. Not on you. Whatever's bothering you, I'm here. I know. It's not what you think, Colson. It's just an icer. This one's not. It's real, with real bullets. So you better put yours down and tell me what the hell's going on right now. Fury knew you'd want me to join up. Asked me to keep an eye on you. But I didn't do it for Fury. I did it for you to protect you. I... You mean a lot to me. A lot. Why are you here? Coulson. Phil, the polygraph cleared me. I'm not hiding anything. You mean you're not hiding anything else? Look, I was just trying and to Don't be tell your... me it's because you care so damn much. I was hoping you'd come back. I'm glad you're back. Try not to set the drapes on fire. You want me to start over? Rebuild Shield from scratch. You'll still have his back. Of course. You're the man in charge, but I'm in charge of you, remember? I had two rules. Avoid field operations. And check in with me every few days. It's been two weeks. You never should have gone into the field like that. You're welcome. It's not funny, Phil. I know you. And I know when you're overly stressed. And I'm tired of fighting it. So don't. That's why I'm here.
coffee shop, our first mission? That's because the commander sent us in with no exit plan. I was in the bay for five hours. I fished you out, eventually. Come on, we used to have fun like this in our youth. You know you enjoyed it. Yes, then life happened. Nostalgia's fine, but I'd rather deal with reality. I know you don't want to talk about this, but we need to make a plan in case I go the way of Garrett. You're right. I don't want to talk about this. We both know how this could end. I'll handle it. May. Hey, this is the part I do. You'll make up for all the dancing. You liked it. No, I didn't. A little bit? A little bit. Money, passports, travel tickets. I don't have to make a plan because I already made one. I am not shooting you in the head. I will never shoot you in the head. May. If things go south, I'm getting you out. Point is, no matter what happens, I'll take care of you. Nostalgia's fine, but then life happens. It's time to deal with reality. Phil, please. Hard choices are coming. I need you to make this one for me. Sky's too dangerous to be out there right now. You just brought her into the field. I had no other choice. You were in danger. I made a call. Everything all right, Phil? Earlier today, the sky just didn't feel right. You made the right call. It's a really nice entrance. You have to go now. The Simmons. I'll take care of them. Without you, there is no shield. Catherine, did you become a high-ranking member of Team Gonzalez? Someone had to run the base while you were gone. Having a seat allowed me to keep you safe. I was fine on my own. Seems that's how you operate best. What the hell's that supposed to mean? That you've been lying to me. You should have told me. You're right. I should have. And I will apologize to you later, at length. That girl wasn't killed in the crossfire, Phil. OK. It was her or everyone around us. And I made the call. I only told Andrew. Back then, our boundaries were clear. Hey. What? It's like you never left. But I did. Look, I'm sorry Andrew's here. I didn't mean to make it more awkward. It's fine. But I can replace him. You, not so much. The reason Andrew left me had nothing to do with S.H.I.E.L.D. It's, it's about me. Always has been. But you harden yourself. You know that? Hey, no tie? Still practicing. Look better without it. Thanks. I'm so sorry, Phil. Whatever you need, just ask. <sighs> Feels real. Feels like the others. It's not the hand, it's me. Maybe you're not supposed to get over it. Some things you can't move past. They scar you, change you permanently. I don't know what happened there on that planet. I do. You joined the cavalry. I'm sorry about Andrew. If you need I don't want to talk about that any more than you want to talk about this. You don't have a lot of kills like that under your belt. I've done my fair share. Not that you enjoyed. I would have made the same choice. We do what we have to do. This is a potentially volatile situation. And I need to know what you expect from me. You're always so quick to the trigger, you know that? Excuse me? If you're asking whether you shoot Daisy, the answer is no. Daisy is not Andrew. I pulled the trigger because you order me to. Hey, hold up. Just another day at the office. I'm sorry about earlier. I was out of line. The things I expect of you, on some level, I'm no better than Hive. No one forces me to do anything. I took advantage. Handy. OK. The leg hurts a little. Maybe you should get a cybernetic one. Too soon. It's good to have a moment just us. It's been a long time since we had a moment alone. Oh, but this guy, this guy's our real expert. Not only does he keep this place running, I bet he could tell us the exact year it was built. 1949. Okay. Told you. May? What's up? 
The base has been infiltrated. Always ready to do the brave thing. Always looking out for us. I won't let them take you. May, wait, please. If you're not well, I can help. I need Come to speak on, to May. About Agent May. Fight this. Agent May is at one of the best CDC facilities in the country. Why keep that from me? I could be there now and would be. Hey, Maybe you're a little bit more yourself. I feel cranky. Like I said. Need a lift? Desperately. It's good to see you back in fighting form. <sighs> Dying takes a lot out of you. I've heard. We should start a club, get some t-shirts made up. And I ask for field work, you give me paperwork. What's wrong with taking it easy? Come on, you had a near-death experience. It was a death experience. I'm over it. Well, I'm really not over mine. I thought you'd want to talk about it. What do you want to know, Phil? What did you see? Seriously? Yeah. You want to know what I saw, Phil? I saw you. Don't let it go to your head. Man. I don't get it. What do you... There should be some sign of it. You're not allowed to be gone. Not yet. You're not dead. After the Glasgow assignment, we promised that we would open that bottle of Hague if we ever had a worse job. I've had 10 by now. What the hell are we waiting for? Hold on, Phil. No. Fight it! No. Yes, sir, fight! Let's go home. I knew you weren't gone. I know. I know what you're gonna say. I know you don't approve. Not my call. But you promised you wouldn't open the dark hold. You broke that promise. Damn straight. You know, when this is over, you and I have a bottle of Hague to open. We're gonna miss you in the field. I'll catch up. Can't let you have all the fun. And when this is over, it's time. We are cracking that bottle. You don't have to twist my arm. I wouldn't dare. I might whip my ass. How many times have we been locked up together? Huh. Hard to say. You're terrible at poker. That's true. Too cautious. Don't take enough chances. Maybe you should start. After all the years, all the missions, all the close calls. Mm, both our deaths. Right? After all that, we're still standing, the two of us. Hmm. Maybe we should toast to that. We've been uh, making a lot of toasts lately. Maybe we should try something else. I never read Ulysses. I always wanted to take a month off, go to Ireland, read it in pubs. Maybe we should go together. Yeah? It's a little nerdy. What are you doing, May? Put the gun down. I'm sorry, Coulson. I can't. You're not May. Why would you say that? Because there's some things you can't fake. May would never betray me. I've lost my temper. I've killed. But lately, I have this voice in my head telling me not to go down that path again. It's telling me to be patient, to stay steady. It should tell me to stay on mission. But there's gonna come a time when you have to realize- I'm not giving up on May. When I was gone, she never gave up on me. Radcliffe took something from me, too. Her name is Melinda May, and she means everything to me. I'm trying not to make it personal because May would hate that, but I can't help it. It is. She's not really a partner, more of a friend, co-worker, really. Though, to be honest, I'm starting to feel some tension, sexual and otherwise. So I was actually thinking about taking a shot, but I'm afraid it could go south. Maybe I'm tired of dating civilians. Well, maybe if it doesn't work out with this one, you and I can talk about that over a drink. Here's hoping. Either shoot us or help, but don't just stand there. Snap out of it, man. These wounds don't heal overnight, but for reasons I can't fully explain, I trust this woman. This feels oddly familiar. Hang in there. Oh. We'll get you patched up. No, it's too late for that. Help me to the edge. Hey, come with me. How can you be sure it will work? I can't. I guess it's gonna be a leap of faith type of thing. 
It's not that simple for me. Yes, it is. Just follow my lead. Come on, babe. You can do it. Just jump. Jump. <gasps> I followed you. Well, I missed you went through. I was a little squirrely on the other side. It was kind of cute. <clears throat> Nice to see you again. Actual you. You must have spotted the decoy right away, right? Yeah, because you're never robotic at all. I'm hurt, Phil. I guess we're not as close as I thought. We finally tipped it. A series of events. Didn't get messy between us, did it? Messy? That's a relative term, wouldn't you say? Hmm, an epinephrine. Emergency dose. That's too dangerous. Might give me enough adrenaline to take on some Terminators. I'll find a way to take them myself. I don't want any more bad to happen to you. I need to take one for the team. You'll be useless afterwards, unconscious or unresponsive. Well, so you give me mouth to mouth. Did something weird happen with my robot self? Did I make a move on you? Phil, did I try to kill you? Kill me, yep. That's what happened. You tried. It was messed up. Well, let's add it to the list. Just make sure I'm still breathing when the team arrives, huh? Uh, hey. Well done. You too. And I haven't been totally honest with you about what happens when you were not around. I knew something was up. What are you not telling me? I drank the bottle of Haig. What? You... We drank the bottle as a new beginning. It felt right. But now I'm not sure how much was you and how much was programmed. Part of it seemed real. Maybe part of it was. Okay. Maybe on my end, too. When we get out of this mess, we take a couple of steps back, start again. Then, when it feels right, maybe we open another bottle. Deal. Deal. May. How's the leg? I'm not gonna lie. You think we're gonna find something out there? <sighs> Maybe a way back? I don't know. Maybe there is no way back. That doesn't sound like you. Phil, you take Deke upstairs, make him talk. I'll hold them off. I'm not leaving you here alone. Go. May, your leg, you're still not 100%. I got this. Go. It's like uh, you had a rough landing. Yeah, I can't recommend the airline. Inexperienced pilots, a lot of turbulence. Ran out of pretzels and coach. Our people in the lighthouse need backup. Sure, but Daisy's still powerless. And I'm not winning any fights with this hole in my leg. I don't know, you look pretty spry for someone who was born over 100 years ago. Hey, we always make it through somehow. And if not... I'm not willing to lose anyone. That's not all on you. Then what is? If I can't protect a team, what? I'm not a scientist, and I can't fly a dead aircraft. You're the one I trust to always have my back. It's hard to believe. That we can do it. That I was a mom. I just, I can't see it. I can't. That rift could spread, then someone's got to do it. Not you. I need you to. Stop! Wait, 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 wait. Get Simmons now! Is this why we took a step back? The last thing you need is to waste your time on another lost cause. Who I waste my time on is for me to decide. He's lost, and I'm lost without him. Maybe I'm reckless. But if this is the end, better to go out doing something that matters. No. You don't get to make that decision alone. That decision is made with the people who love you. Hey. And that's me. I love you. I thought that would shut you up. We didn't have a chance to finish our conversation. I said what I had to say. 
Mind we have a mission, Phil. Good talk, Phil. Good talk. I'll take care of it. Go home, Phil. Now. Are you giving me an order? Because that sounds like you were giving yes, me an order. Yes, I'm giving you an order. You're just going to slow me down, so zip it and get to the... Shut you up. Now go. Tell me you have them. What's taking you so long? I'm sorry. I'm not going to detail what we risked to get this. I'm aware. And I'm not happy I was left out of that decision. You wouldn't wake up. I've made it clear. I think I have to. But even now, the word scares you. I'm just having a hard enough time leaving you behind. So don't. Hmm. So, anything else on your bucket list? Just one thing. Parasailing? Yeah, parasailing. Always wanted to try that. Was I snoring? A little bit. <laughs> What's not laughing? <laughs> it sounds weird. It's just, did you uh, read that in a book? Because that's such a cheesy way to ask a girl for a date. Like I said, I planned to say it, but as you know, I never did. You chickened out. You were very intimidating back then. You were too nerdy for me back then. Oh, really? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> the tick of the clock is only getting louder. Don't joke about that anymore. You know I hate it. I'm talking about you. And what's next? I'm saying the academy. It's not a bad idea. You'd make a great teacher. <laughs> Sounds like hell. You know what they say, every dream is someone else's nightmare. He was your dream, I'm your nightmare. Told you it was easy to drift off. You let the rage out. Then let the other part of you rein it in. It's not as simple as you make it sound. That's why I'll be there, to remind you. This isn't going to be easy to hear, but if you're harboring any hope that after all this I'm going to turn into this Coulson guy, you got to let that go. Do I want an alien passenger in my head? No. But if I kick it loose, what's left of me won't be the love of your life. Maybe Phil Coulson is gone forever. I've accepted that. But I still believe there's good in you. Even if it isn't him. What do you feel? Fear of this pain that's been a knife in my heart for so long. That's love. That pain is love. I know because I was afraid of it too. But you let me feel it. You gave that gift to me. You pulled me out of that cubicle. You gave me purpose, a crew. Remember me. It's love. The pain is love. Yes. And now I know how to end it. I was hoping to see him again. I guess I'll see you soon enough. Sarge. No, I'm not. You're not cold.
person either. Well, yes and no. Aren't you at all surprised? I mean, I was dead. You still are. Of him. It kind of feels like back in the day. We were good agents together, regardless of what we became later. Just wondering if it'll ever feel that way again. I'm wondering if I'm ever going to feel anything again. I don't know what's going on inside you, but you're smart. You're smart enough to know that this, it's not simple for me, and I'm, I would turn to you for... For what? I don't know, for... For validation. Maybe, Melinda, something. I died, and I came back. I didn't ask for that. You never die. You always come back. You know how many times I've mourned you? I'm not doing it again. And I'm certainly not doing it for a decoy with a simulated personality. Thank you. There she is. Don't look now, but your emotions are coming back. She's due for the Colson talk. I don't think so. That's your duty now. Now see how good she can be. Like you did with Yo-Yo, like you always did with her sister. With me. I'm still getting used to the idea of me as just tack. You really believe that? No, not really. Still figuring it out. Me too. We're not the same people we were. Pretty sure everyone would agree on that. I'm wondering if we changed the timelines or if they change us. The Melinda May I know would never ask these philosophical questions. Which is the point. How did I become this me? I don't know. But I like this you. And if I'm completely honest, I like this me as well. <laughs>